I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. During a House floor speech on Monday, Representative Steny Hoyer spoke about the ongoing war in Ukraine. Hoyer emphasized that Putin must not win the war for the sake of Ukraine and to send a message to the free world that tyranny will not prevail. He also congratulated Finland and Sweden for becoming the most recent nations to apply to join NATO. Here's more from the House Majority Leader. Of the House of Representatives, the gentleman from Maryland, the Honorable Steny Hoyer. Uh, the gentleman from uh, Maryland is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and uh, I, I thank uh, my friend, Mr. Costa, for yielding uh, this time. I thank my friend, uh, the ranking member, uh, Mr. Turner, for his role in bringing this to the floor. Uh, Mr. Speaker, as has been said over and over again, Vladimir Putin made a terrible, strategic, and tragic miscalculation by illegally invading this sovereign and democratic nation of Ukraine. His false justification for that invasion was the supposed threat posed by NATO expansion. His other false claim that Russian uh, uh, Ukrainians uh, were being uh, terrorized and threatened. Uh, neither of those allegations was true. And now his elections, his, his actions, excuse me, have led directly, as Mr. Turner just pointed out, as Mr. Costa had pointed out, uh, the opposite of what he intended. And that is we are going to be adding two extraordinary members of the European community, two countries that have shared our values, our democratic values, our uh, nation of laws values, our human humanitarian values uh, with us for uh, literally half, over half a century. Uh, to together, Finland and Sweden will add substantial capabilities to NATO's collective defense and make the Baltic region much more secure against Russian aggression. But much more than that, they will add value uh, because of their values uh, to our alliance. And Mr. Speaker, I was in Denmark in April meeting with senior officials and I can attest that the addition of Finland and Sweden to the NATO family will create a Scandinavian bloc, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, and Finland, within NATO that would be more than the sum of its parts, significantly contributing to the peace and stability of Europe and to the security of all NATO nations, including the United States. As I've said before, we must ensure that Putin's invasion will result in a strategic defeat for Russia. I pause, uh, Mr. Speaker, to emphasize that point. Vladimir Putin must not win this war, not only for the sake of the Ukrainians and their extraordinary bravery and the bravery and leadership of Mr. Zelensky, their president, but because the free world needs to send a very strong and clear and unmistakable message that tyranny will not prevail. We must send a message to dictators around the world that this action is unacceptable and will be opposed to victory by the free world. We must defend the hard-won principle in international laws and norms that a nation cannot simply invade and seek to conquer territory from a, neighboring, from a neighbor by force. That was accepted uh, for centuries, indeed millennia. But it is not acceptable today in a world of nuclear weapons, in a world that has a United Nations that stands for the principle that no nation can by force take the land of another nation. I want to thank Representative Keating for his leadership on this resolution. Mr. Speaker, I hope we can all come together, Democrats and Republicans, as I think we will, in a resounding unanimous vote to show our support not only for Ukraine, which we have demonstrated over and over again by vote of this House, but also for our new NATO allies, the people of Finland and Sweden. I want to thank uh, the Prime Minister of Sweden. 
Magdalena Anderson, and the Prime Minister of Finland, Sanna Marin, for their leadership in taking what is, in many respects, a courageous stand. The Finns, of course, have a very long border with Russia. They believe, correctly in my view, that their security is contingent, and uh, that is why they are joining NATO. And as uh, we have reiterated time and time again, this House is committed to honoring Article 5 of the NATO Charter. Mr. Chairman, this is a good resolution that will stand us in good stead as a nation and as a global community. And I yield back the balance of my time. Chairman from Maryland yields back.